welcome, folks, to uh, the Matt and Dave Gaming Show. We're playing uh, an interesting one with I Love You, Colonel Sanders, a finger-licking good dating simulator. Um, Matt doesn't know what to think about this so far. It's it's hot. It's hot guy Colonel Sanders. I I still haven't fully wrapped my head around it. <laughs> you're not you're not a big anime fan yourself, are you? I like some of them. Have you seen uh, Seven Deadly Sins? I am familiar with it. You know Bond? No. <laughs> so he's he's one of the main guys. Is I he? It's a very like fem, bless you. Oh, thank you. It's a very like feminine bond that I'm seeing here, and I I still I really don't know how to feel. Seven Deadly Sins is the one with um uh something Pride Escanor in it. Or am I think am maybe I'm thinking something. Yeah, else. um, Pride the Sin of Pride. Yeah, yeah, that it's, one. yeah it's yeah. the Netflix exclusive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I've actually been really enjoying that yeah. one. It's been a little while since I watched it last. I've seen clips on YouTube. Of it's that it's fun. I like well, we're it. gonna start, folks. Um, uh, let's see. What should our name be? Let us go with Drumstick. There we go. That'll <laughs> work. Um, for those who don't know, this game came out a couple years ago. Um, it's it's all marketing for KFC. We're not sponsored, but, you know, KFC. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> you sleep softly as the morning sun casts a warm glow through the windows of your modest student apartment. The world is peaceful and serene. You could stay in the moment forever. By the way, I'm a narrator. <laughs> <laughs> or you could wake up. No, no, no. Your first day of culinary school with no time to sleep in. What should we do, Matt? Smack that clock. Yeah. Lying in bed, you stare at the ceiling. Think about everything that awaits you at the prestigious University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning. I love the BTS poster in the background. <laughs> of the wall. I didn't even catch yeah. that. Yeah. Well, not, excuse me, it's probably like, they're probably like KTS or something yeah. like that. Or, um, your mind begins to wander. Uh, you only take yourself seriously or you allow yourself to daydream a bit. Think about the future. We're going to daydream a little bit. Oh, okay. It's here, finally, your first day of culinary school. So many dishes to prepare. So many students to meet. Your mind is swimming with possibilities when you realize you're running late. You grab a biscuit and burst out the door in a hurry. I, I want to think that all food in this world is just KFC items. I, I, honestly, yeah. that's the first thing I thought of yeah. when I saw you grab a biscuit. Yeah, that, would, that sounds about right. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> just such a need to wake up those taste buds. Okay, for, for real though. KFC biscuits, do you put anything on them? Uh, honey and butter. I knew I liked it. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes, you're in such a hurry, in fact, that you forgot to put on any deodorant before running out of the door. You're sweating buckets as you rush to arrive on time. Are you fucking uh -oh. serious? <laughs> <laughs> Studying in the quad, you gaze upon the magnificent University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. Here comes your lifelong best friend forever, Miriam. She's the most adorably awkward person you've ever met, and you absolutely love her for it. Good morning, drumstick. Are you excited for the first day of the rest of our lives? Actually, I'm... Because I sure am. You know, got to change poses yeah. all the time, too. Excited. A little nervous. Okay, okay, a lot nervous. What's the... It's just that this morning I made breakfast for myself, but, well, when I ate it, I couldn't taste any love in the food. What if I'm no good? What if I fail? Classic Miriam, raised by Master Chef parents, she always held herself to a very high standard. Ever since we were little babies playing together and you rescued me from that quicksand box, it's been clear to me that you're the most loving, caring person I know. You're going to do great. I gotta wonder what sort of place they're at where a yeah, quicksand box quick comes in. <laughs> but with the University of Cooking School Academy for Learning's famous three-day-only semesters, I'm afraid of being left behind and never catching Hang on. up. What? Yep, yep, you read that correctly. <laughs> We're in for a ride, y'all. <laughs> a sweet girl, Miriam, has always had a flair for the dramatic. This summer, she got so nervous about her first kiss that she chipped a tooth practicing on a mannequin. <laughs> what are we playing, Dave? <laughs> What should we do, Matt? Pep talk your best friend or change the subject to school gossip? We're going to change the subject to school ah, gossip. Okay. It's hard to see Miriam like this, and frankly, quite exhausting. My word, dicks. Um, <laughs> rather than dwell on her anxiety, you try to change the subject to something more interesting. All summer, you've been hearing rumors about a dreamy, enigmatic mystery student who is enrolled at this school. Yeah, that's a little worrisome, but you'll be fine. Now what about this mystery student we read about on the school message board? Any new deets? Oh, get this. I heard his name is Harland, and he's no ordinary student. 
Colonel Sanders' real name is Harlan. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Fact. Yeah. Okay. See, it's educational too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they say he has powers. He's had them ever since he was born. From an egg. <laughs> an egg? Like a chicken? Don't be ridiculous. But that thing about having powers, it would line up with some of the other rumors I've heard. Can't, can't be born from an egg, but you can have powers. Yeah, in world, apparently. yeah. So. <laughs> like, I heard he once fought a bear with just his smile. You both sigh thinking about a student so handsome that the laws of physics don't dare to apply to him. Dreamy. Before you get another word out, you ru you're rudely interrupted when someone smacks your books and custom engraved measuring spoons out of your hands and onto the ground. Hey! It's Ashley, your arch rival. She's totally evil, but she can't help but be filled with jealousy. She can get anything she wants, and she knows it. Well, howdy. Hello, Ashley. Oh, I didn't see you there, chicken shins. You leave drumsticks shins alone. <laughs> they are perfectly normal shins. Ugh, you can't stand Ashley. Ever since even her name is annoying, you know for a fact that it's actually Ashley, but she had to add extra letters to make herself feel better than everyone. <laughs> if anyone here knows what perfect shins look like, it's us. We're not going to let you or your really weird insult to get to us. Across the quad, you see Ashley's best friend, Van Van the Man Man, has stopped to look at his own reflection in the mirror. This will be interesting for you. His pants are so tight you can, you can see him casually working out his glutes while he styles his hair. No lie, they're rocking glutes. Ahem, Van Van. You rang rang. Oh my god, <laughs> I might walk out the door. <laughs> what am I, okay, like, like, not, no joke, like, Ashley's, like, kinda hot for an anime girl. <laughs> this, this is just over the top. He's kinda hot for an anime guy, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> you've never been sure what their arrangement is, but as long as you've known them, Ashley and Van Van have been just as close as you and Miriam, but substantially more devious. I can't believe that the University of Cooking School Academy for Learning would ever allow people like you to attend as students. I know, right? You'd think they'd just hand us our diplomas now. I have to do a different voice for him. Oh yes, May or maybe hire us on as professors. <laughs> you amateurs could learn a lot from us. Not much of a voice change, but still. <laughs> With the first day of school about to start, there's just not time to properly tell these two off. So you resist the urge. Let's go, Miriam. See you later, losers. As you approach the door, you see a goofy-looking kid pushing hard against the window directly next to him. Aww. <laughs> they <just> pop. <laughs> 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 Oopsie. I think it's broken. You reach forward and easily pull the door open. <laughs> uh, that should do the trick. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I think you mean thank you. My name is Pop. I was named after my pop pop. He's old. Could someone like this also be a student at the school? He must be one heck of a chef. Also, his name tag clearly says Bob, but I guess he's reading it upside down. <laughs> Folks, I love that I'm making Matt sit through this. <laughs> I there's I don't know how you I feel. love it. You don't, don't deny it. <laughs> Hi, Pop. I'm Jumpstick. So, are you gonna make me hold the door all day? Nope! And with that, the young man walks in the building ahead of you. Is it just me, or is he kind of cute? <laughs> I think it's just you. <laughs> you brush shrug your shoulders before following him into the building. Or the, or the beating. I mean, one of the two. Okay, what's up with the what's up with the dude up in here in the corner by the clock? I bet that's a CEO or it something like It probably is. Yeah. Or, or at least was at the time. Okay. You stand at the edge of the room, unsure where to sit. Other students wander in and keep themselves busy chit-chatting. A scruffy-looking pooch takes his place at a podium at the front of the class. Adorable! Now, now, quiet down, everyone. Who is this unreasonably cute pup, and why is he in our culinary class? You must be Sprinkles, head instructor and CEO of UCS uh, colon AL. <laughs> Please, call me Professor Dog. I may be cute and li little and fluffy, but I still demand respect. Woof. What? A cute dog is our professor? 
This is the best school ever. I guess only a dog's nose is capable of picking up all the nuances of fine dining. Out of nowhere, winds begin to rush around you as you swirl cherry blossom petals. Feel the air inside the classroom. I'm chilly. Someone close the window. And then... He walks oh in. Oh my god. Oh my god. You're immediately swept up in the aura swept up in the aura of this new student and his remarkable goatee. <laughs> Who knew anyone could be so handsome? Time stands still. It's him. It's If it isn't my favorite student, Harland. Colonel Sanders interrupts Sprinkles, sorry, Professor Dog, before he can finish his sentence. Please, call me Colonel. Oh my god. Colonel dude. Sanders. <laughs> <laughs> a hushed murmur rolls through the classroom as Colonel Sanders walks down the aisle of desks. Suddenly, the room is sweltering. Sweat begins to bead across your brow. You feel like everyone is looking at you, and you're not entirely wrong. <laughs> and this over here must be Sweaty Sweat Salat. <gasps> Maybe we should. Oh my god. I gotta find a better Maybe we should open that oh, window sure. back up Thank before you. faucet pits melts into a puddle and evaporates entirely. See, you're getting into it. Hey. <laughs> you two both know my name. Oh. We were in the same kindergarten class. And what is with all your really weird insults? You turned to five. Okay. Mm -hmm. Colonel Sanders, beautiful <laughs> angel that he is, stands before you, smiling gently, his hand outstretched. Boy, howdy, this classroom gets hotter than a Kentucky fryer. Please, use my handkerchief. You freeze up. Oh my god, Colonel dude, what the fuck is this game? Folks, Matt is currently uh, walking away and hiding behind a table. What? Matt, come back. Oh, I think. <laughs> what is this? Wow. You freeze up. Colonel Sanders is talking to you. By the way, you keep acting like this. This is going straight to the front of the videos that are coming out. <laughs> uh. Wait, Colonel Sandals, San Sandals. Colonel, <laughs> Colonel Sanders is talking to you about how sweaty you look. You're at completely mortified. This can't be your first interaction. What if he never forgets this moment? How will you respond? Take the handkerchief. <laughs> <laughs> you stretch out your hand and Colonel Sanders places a fine silk handkerchief in it. It's so beautiful, you hesitate to press it to your face. But when you do, the feeling is transcendent. It has its natural scent on it. It smells of the most delicious chicken you've ever smelled. Professor Dog steps in to settle the class down and get some ground rules. Welcome to the University of Cooking School Academy for Learning, the greatest culinary academy in the world. The birthplace of culinary legends past, present, and future. Many challenges await you. There will be tears. There will be blood. There might even be really adorable tiny food. And when all is said and done, there will be a battle! You will lift your sporks and compete in the broom cooking arena, I think is what it said. Just then, another student enters the classroom and interrupts the professor's rousing speech. Hi guys, sorry I'm late. I hope everything had a, everyone had a good summer. I really miss... Quiet! Late to class is bad enough, but interrupting my monologue? You're on the fast track out of here, young man. Are you sure you're even in the right place? Don't you recognize me? This is my third year in this school with you as my teacher. I, th I think this voice works for that guy. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone stares at him blankly. Does no one remember me? I'm... You're expelled if you utter one more word before I finish. Let that be a lesson to you students that tardiness is unacceptable. Even Clank made it here on time, rolling halfway across town on his tiny wheels. You turn to see the student Sprinkles is refer referencing, who appears to be some sort of industrial kitchen appliance. <laughs> <laughs> the class bursts into laughter. Oh, Clank, you rascal. <laughs> Sprinkles walks in the classroom as everyone stands in silent obedience. When he gets to you, he lifts his nose into the air and takes a deep sniff. Hmm... Your diet is lacking. Based on what I'm picking up here, you definitely need a multivitamin. You should be taking better care of yourself. You never had a talking dog as a teacher before, but Sprinkle's reputation for being smart but tough is well known. You know, super common to talk yeah. to dogs as teachers, right? Yeah. You decide to try and butter him up by giving him a treat from your pocket, but what kind? 
beef treat, rubber ball, chicken snack. Well, I guess we're gonna just stay in flavor. Let's do a chicken snack. Okay, good. I was, I'm all like, I'm all like, Matt, if you choose one of the other two, you're dumb. We're <laughs> playing a KFC game. <laughs> you reach beneath your apron and return with a chicken snack in your hand. Sprinkle's eyes go wide as he locks onto it. His favorite. Well, well, well. I think there might be some competition for new star student. The fury. Prof- the, excuse me, the, the fury. The, the furry <laughs> professor immediately devours the snack. Leaving your hands slick with a coating of warm doggy drool. <laughs> you see the other students eyeing you jealously, jealously, but pay no mind to them. If they want to succeed in life, they should have learned the importance of carrying a range of dog treat flavors on them at all times. So I guess Drumstick is just always... Pre- He's a yep. Boy Scout. Yeah, that's what that's he is. What He's is. a Boy Scout. <laughs> we don't know... We don't know our gender in this. <laughs> Fair. It's us. We are always we're, the Boy Scouts. We're Boy Scouts. <laughs> Settle down, young chefs. Take your seats and prepare to have your minds open to the amazing possibilities of culinary creation. As everyone rushes to claim their favorite seats, you're left standing at the front of the room. Only two options remain. Hey, Drumstick! There's still a seat here. It seems that no one has claimed the seat next to me. If you're interested. <laughs> We're sitting next to Miriam. We're sitting next to Miriam. I'm sure. Yes. I might override you on this one. Well, well, why should we sit next to Miriam, Matt? Hmm. Colonel Sanders makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> I am very uncomfortable okay. by Colonel Sanders. I mean, she is our best friend, yes. so I guess I, I guess you'd be mad at me if I ditched you for her. <laughs> something like that. You move to take your seat by Miriam. I'm so glad to have you near me to support me through this class. Of course, you're my best friend. Who else would I sit by? Colonel Sanders? He has such a magnetic personality, and there's a seat open right next to him. If you had sat there, you might have gotten to know him a little better. I'd never sacrifice our friendship. Besides, I'm sure I'll get a chance to talk to him later (laughs) in the semester. I've got three whole days. That's like a lifetime. So you say, but now that Miriam mentions it, that <laughs> Colonel Sanders is just so darn oh dreamy. My God. As soon as you've settled into your seat, the professor makes an announcement. Think fast, it's time for a pop quiz. Oh Lord, here we go. You know, because we've totally studied stuff. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> a quiz about me. Pop! <laughs> this incredibly important and surprisingly short quiz will tell me if you are ready for life at culinary school. Keep your knives sharp and your focus sharper. Here comes question one. If train A is traveling to point B and train B is traveling to point A, how important is it to wash your hands before cooking? (laughs) What? (laughs) I mean, extremely, because it's health. Yeah. That's right. (laughs) What the fuck? Force is the tree as chicken is to blank. I mean, it's got to be fat. Yeah. yeah. I want to hit night vision goggles really bad, but we got to <laughs> It would be funny. That's right. What is the most efficient eating utensil ever created? A sport. Yep. <laughs> wow. That's right. What food is best for a broken heart? Anything as long as it's prepared with love and not too much salt. Camel meat, a pancake that looks like a silly face. Definitely the pancake. Uh, I think it's actually going to be that one, but we can go with pancake. Yeah. We'll go with pancake? Yeah, let's do the okay. pancake. That's wrong. Is Sprinkles a good boy? He no. He's a talk. <laughs> He's, He's the best boy, yeah, of course. Yeah, go with that, go with that one. <laughs> That's right. Your total score is four out of five. Only one wrong, not too shabby. You might just do all right, kid. You look up to see that Colonel Sanders has been watching your tally your score. He nods with approval. May I have your attention, students? I have an important announcement to make. Time for lunch. Okay. Wow, the cafeteria is as nice as any restaurant you've eaten at. It makes sense that a school uh, dedicated to cooking would also be serious about eating. A delicious fragrance fragrance wafts through the room and tickles the end of your nose. Your mouth waters. Do you smell that? That must be our lunch. It smells crazy good. Everyone, can I have your attention? Is it about lunch? No, I just wanted to apologize for my tardiness. You see, I was... Howdy, folks. I'd like to make an announcement. (laughs) Hey, I was. (laughs) It's about lunch. Everyone cheers. Bye-bye. Shh. Lunch, lunch, lunch. She said, shh. (laughs) In honor of the new semester, I have prepared something special to share with everyone for lunch. Uh 
That must be the smell I smelled. Indeed, that smell. You hold your breath, waiting to see what food this mysterious student has created. You've heard that he's very talented, but were the rumors true? Is this... Colonel Sanders lifts a large bucket above his head. <laughs> its contents glimmer in the light. Piled high are huge pieces of chicken, breaded and fried to a crispy golden finish. The aroma envelops you, and you begin to feel warm and safe. Colonel Sanders has filled a bucket with chicken? What a novel concept. Your stomach begins to grumble as if to stay. Stop thinking and stop eating. Or start eating. <laughs> For years, I have been developing a secret recipe for the perfect fried chicken. But by my calculation, nothing less than 11 herbs and spices are required to achieve the perfect balance of flavors. <laughs> you look around and notice that every other student has a pen and paper and is scribbling notes as fast as they can. That's all I'll say about that. What? You think we want your stupid secret recipe, dude? Pshaw! Nah, my dude, nah. I'm just, uh, drafting a last will and testament in case, uh, one of those ingredients is a uh, poison got him. He looks around <laughs> nervously to see if anyone else is laughing at a <laughs> sick burn. You wait to see what Zinger Ashley has prepared to follow up, but she suddenly takes a different so approach. So do you see how, okay, unless I just missed it earlier, is, was it spelled A-S-H-E, or A-S-H-L earlier? So... That because you've known her forever, you know that she used to spell it that way, but because she's extra, she needed to uh, do it this way. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, and I was just like writing in my diary. I guess I'm giving her that voice, yeah. which isn't exactly a woman's voice, but whatever. Dear diary, today I smelled something beautiful. I knew at that moment that only the hands of a true gentleman could fry chicken so tender. You see, her body language changed from bitter and evil to sweet and innocent. As she slides closer to Colonel Sanders, she realizes that, whoops, that he is destined for greatness. Oh, please. <laughs> well, Van Van, the man, man, if you don't want any, I'll take his. Whoa, hold on. I mean, I guess I'll try it. <laughs> he takes one bite and his eyes grow wide. He starts contorting his face as he tries to hold in his pure exhilaration and act unimpressed. Easy now, that's enough for everyone. Please, my fellow classmates, dig in. You take one of the pieces of fried chicken out of this bucket and sink your teeth into it. It's amazing. Tasting Colonel Sanders' food transports you to another dimension. <laughs> what? Alone with your taste buds gripping a drumstick in your hand, you float weightlessly. What should we do, Matt? That focus your mind and meditate on this, trying to savor the moment and everything that it tells you about Colonel Sanders' co. Mm. We'll so, go. We'll go with savor the moment. You sure? Shouldn't swim towards the light. I mean, that's always good, right? <laughs> <laughs> Last I heard, that's not great. Maybe Van Van the Man Man was right, van and, it was, van and it is poison. True. <laughs> yeah, let's go with the savor the moment. Sweet. The flavors in your mouth are beautiful, pure. Heavenly. What a guy! <laughs> Alone with the flavors, you feel something that can only be described as love. For a man? For a flavor? Are they the same? After tasting his food, you try to get some one-on-one -on -one time with Colonel Sanders. Oh, Lord, here we go. You approach Colonel Sanders. Colonel Sanders smiles ever so sloppy as you approach. He stops what he is doing and allows you to break the silence. Colonel, I wonder if I could talk to you for a second. Anything for a fellow chef. <laughs> What exactly was on that chicken? Ha ha ha, how bold to come out and ask. It's an idea that I had for a new combination of flavors that will make me fortune, my, make me my fortune and establish, establish, establish my legacy for all time as I open a chain of highly successful fried chicken restaurants. No big deal. Uh, I swear if I ever get fit, I'm cosplaying this with this cane. <laughs> Damn I would straight. support this. I would support no, it. It would not be difficult to do either. No. <laughs> it's just you and me here talking. I can keep a secret. In fact, I've got some of my own that I'd be willing to trade. Oh my god. What's the rush? The semester is only getting started. We've got two more whole days Why to get to know each other. Why is he making the stank face? Why it's like, I don't want your dirty nudes, you nah, dirty whore. I think, it's, like, I think it's more that he just doesn't want to share the, the secret recipe. I think that's what he's <laughs> I don't know, about. man. He's making some uh, stank. 
He's clearly not going to give it up easily, but it doesn't hurt to be persistent. You know what they say about secrets, Colonel. Shouldn't learning be fun? You've got Moxie, I'll give you that. Colonel Sanders looks both ways to make sure you're truly alone and then leans in. You can feel his warm breath as he whispers. Just one ingredient, but you can't tell. I use blank. It's something my great-grandmother taught me. Blank? Wow, you'd never have guessed that. In fact, you're not even sure where you'd get some if you searched. <laughs> While you're wrapped up in the huge revelation, you notice that Colonel Sanders has disappeared. While everyone else is still in the cafeteria, you decide to look for him. You find Colonel Sanders out Colonel Sanders outside, standing in the quad. Oh, it's you again. Oh, excuse me. Oh, it's you again. Howdy. <laughs> Sometimes I like to come outside and look at the school buildings. I think about how my story will continue on after I've graduated. Sounds like you have big plans. I dare say, the biggest. I will leave my mark on this world. You can bet on that. Uh, alone together for the first time, you figure now is the perfect moment to show your personality to him. Neg him to show your own strength. Wow him with a big idea to add an additional ingredient to really spice things up. Be modest but thoughtful. That's probably the correct one. Yeah. This one would piss him off because that's going to, uh, like, what? My spices weren't good enough yeah. sort of thing? Nagging is never good. <laughs> yeah, let's do the be modest. Okay. Well, I just wanted to tell you that I really enjoyed your food. Now you've got his attention. The flavors were complex but comforting. The interplay between salty, savory, and peppery, it was perfect. I appreciate the compliment, drumstick. I'm sure you'll be a big success. We've only met today, but I'm starting to uh, get the same feeling about you. We should head back inside. The next lesson starts soon. You step into the massive cooking arena where the afternoon lesson will take place. Each student gets an oven and all the tools and ingredients they could need. Look at this place. It's magnificent. Finally, we get to show our stuff. Wait a second. Oh, no. We have to show our stuff. What if I totally blow it? You're not going to blow anything, except maybe kisses to the crowd of fans you're going to earn with your signature adorable tiny food creations. Welcome, students, to the cooking arena. For today's lesson, we'll be cooking with partners. Hurry up and pair off. Naturally, Miriam looks over at you, but unable to control yourself, you pounce on Colonel Sanders. Oh, no. Hey, Colonel, would you like to tackle this lesson as a team? A team of two, that is, me and you, if that wasn't clear. Want to be my partner? Sure, drumstick. I'll prepare our station. Without you as a partner, Miriam is left standing all alone. Two different students quickly take notice. Hello, new partner. Beep, boop, buzz, buzz. <laughs> Oh my, two potential partners. I'm so sorry, gentlemen. I don't know who to choose. And I think at this point, folks, we're going to end this episode for right now. Um... Matt, Matt and I will discuss if we want to do one more episode of this or not. <laughs> uh, and But uh, I will also say, too, I'm sure I could convince him if you guys really like the video. <laughs> yeah, I think I, I could probably I get behind that. Yeah, but okay, guys, have a good one. We'll see you next time.